What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there killing it on the tables. Today, we are going to take a look at the VIP program within the Winning Poker Network, including America's Card Room, Black Chip Poker, True Poker, and Ya Poker. The last two I've never heard of, but according to this website, they are part of the Winning Poker Network. So let's jump into this and find out when Rake Back makes sense and when the VIP program makes more sense. As you guys probably already know, I am not part of the Rake Back program. I do the VIP program because I am putting in a ton of volume and I didn't really do the math. I didn't really do the studying on it. I just figured with the amount of volume, the VIP program made more sense since you are only receiving 27% Rake Back. So what we're looking at right now is a study done by ProfessionalRakeBack.com where they went through and analyzed the VIP VIP program versus rake back and where it makes sense and how much you are actually getting in rake back if you do the VIP program. They created this nice little chart here which shows all the bonuses, all the rake that you would contribute, the rank points, the CP points, the store bonuses versus the tourney bucks converted which is what I have really started to use is the tourney bucks. I see that you get a lot more value. I think it's around 30 percent more value when you use tourney bucks instead of cashing in within the store with your CP points. So I've been playing a lot of satellite tourneys on Sunday mornings trying to get into the big Sunday tournaments with the tournament bucks which means I'm pretty much registering for these satellite tourneys with my CP points and it's really been paying off. These satellite tourneys are pretty weak. I've been getting into the big tourneys, haven't got a deep run yet but hopefully soon that would help out a ton for the bankroll challenge. But from from what we can see on this chart, you see that the flat rake back is the same throughout. If you were to accumulate 2.75 million rake back points, rank points rather, you would receive 131,000 in rake back. Those are big numbers, but if you are part of the VIP program, you would receive almost three times that in tournament bucks or slightly less if you cashed it in within the store. For myself, I'm probably going to be around the 100,000 rank points throughout this year, even though I just started in May, which qualifies me for the 3.5 multiplier. And once you hit that 3.5 multiplier, it really starts to add up. You can see that the rake back percentages quickly jump from around 30% to over 40%. A lot of that has to do with hitting the bonus at 200,000 as well, which is $2,600. I'm probably not going to be getting there, maybe next year, but that's a nice little bonus on your annual income for poker. So if you are using the VIP program or you decide to use the VIP program versus rake back, where does it make sense? How much volume do you have to put in for it to be worthwhile? And and from what this chart is telling me, if you are going to be using the tournament bucks and register for tournaments with your points, which I suggest you do, I think it's the best way to use your points and to cash in on the true value of your points, you need to be getting at least 10,000 rank points in one calendar year. And if you are getting 7,500 rank points in any given month, you're getting the 2.5 multiplier, giving you even more tournament bucks. So for me, the break even line would be at 10,000 rank points. Below 10,000, rake back makes sense. Above 10,000, the VIP program makes more sense since you will be receiving at least 28.12% rake back if you do it that way. And once you move past that 10,000 rank point number, you are just getting more and more value from your rank points, accumulating a better percentage return. It does move up pretty slowly until you get over 100,000, but it's still better than the 27% that you would be receiving with just the normal rake back program. If you guys want to check out this website, it is professional professionalrakeback.com. I will put the link down in the video description. If you have not signed up for America's Card Room, Black Chip Poker, True Poker, or Ya Poker yet, I will put those links down in the video description below. I will put links for Rakeback as well as non-Rakeback. 
head down to the video description to click through and sign up through those links. Click that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet. We've got daily content coming out, including the 100K challenge, where we are turning 50 bucks into $100,000. If you have any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found this information useful. I will be back with a new video very soon, but until then, I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.